Neo has just upgraded to the Neo N3 platform and moved away from their Neo older legacy platform. If you haven't migrated to Neo N3, you should because you're missing out on those gas rewards. And if you're new to Neo N3, which uh, a lot of people are, it does all of this. We're gonna go over interoperability, native Oracle, self sovereign ID, decentralized storage, Neo name service, one block finality, best in class tooling, smart contracts, multi-language, and more. And if you made it through that first part of information, I'm gonna hit you with more information with just the quick facts about NEO. NEO uses a two token system. That's the NEO token, which can only be used in whole integers, whole numbers, just one, two, three, four. It can't be used in fractions or smaller amounts like 0 0.01, 0 0.5, 0 0.0001. It has to be a whole number. And the other side of the NEO token is the GAS token, G-A-S. Yes, that's the name of it. And that's used for funding gas transactions on the network. And it's pretty much their utility token. The actual NEO token is used for governance. And if you wanted to trade NEO on an exchange, then you'd be able to break that up into less than one NEO. But if you are gonna keep NEO in a wallet, it has to be a whole integer. And for some reason, yes, I was very happy to use the word integer because that is a word you only use in math class and nowhere else in the world. So if anyone happens to ask you about Neo and how it works, you can be like, oh yeah, you mean the one with the whole integers? Yes, that's the one, Neo. All right, and continuing on, each block on Neo is settled in 15 seconds and when it is, five gas are mined and then that is distributed to everyone on the NEO platform for holders, governance uh, voters, and the NEO council. If you are holding NEO, you can earn gas tokens passively just by holding that NEO in an eligible wallet. If you are holding NEO on an exchange, you would not be eligible for those gas rewards. With NEO's latest upgrade, NEO N3 can handle up to 30,000 transactions per second. The consensus method for NEO is Delegated Byzantine Fault Tolerant, DBFT. I know that's a very technical wording, but let's make it very simple. You got 100 people in a room. Each of them have to verify if that transaction happened or happened correctly. And if at least two thirds of them, 66.6%, .6 say, yes, this transaction happened and it happened correctly, then that transaction gets processed. You could have some liars in that group, up to 33, but with a Byzantine fault tolerant, it requires the majority, the two thirds majority, to say if a transaction is good or not. So now you know a super technical cryptocurrency term, you can help me out by hitting that like button now. And uh, if you actually knew what delegated Byzantine fault tolerant was, let me know in the comments. And with NEO, there is a 100 million coin supply. With gas, there is no maximum limit, but there are things to control the supply of gas. So every time a transaction is processed on NEO, you need gas to process that transaction. And with those transaction fees, you have the network fee and you have the system fee. The system fee gets burned and that network fee is rewarded to the consensus address that packed that block. This video was sponsored by NEO and I am happy to do a review for NEO because they are one of the oldest blockchains out there and they've continued building. They have a lot of tech, but this is full disclosure Dan here, letting you know that this video is sponsored and I'm just here to educate you about how NEO works. If you want to invest in NEO, that's up to you. Dan is not a financial advisor and let's just continue learning. And let's start digging into the details of what NEO can do. It supports multiple languages and that's programming languages. So that's Python, Go, C Sharp, Java, and TypeScript. So this is how it works. You can program in any one of these languages and then the code gets compiled into NEF. That's the NEO execution format. And then it gets run through a NEO virtual machine. So each of these smart contracts that get generated run through a Neo virtual machine, and then it's a bunch of Neo virtual machines talking to each other, even though the underlying code is any one of these. So there is a lot of support for programmers that already know these coding languages, which brings a lot of mass appeal to Neo because you don't have to learn a new programming language, you can get started immediately if you know the language already. Decentralized storage. So Neo has built-in decentralized storage with Neo FS, Neo file storage, 
right on the Neo N3 blockchain. And with it, they create this open marketplace. If you as a user want to provide storage services to somebody, you can do that. But for you to get paid out for using your storage, someone would have to choose your storage node and then you'd be able to get paid out in gas tokens. Native oracles. These are data oracles that are built into the Neo N3 service, which means you can get price feed data or any outside data or any data from the real world and bring it into your smart contract. So let's just use an example. Let's say you are you bet on a basketball game and you want to know who the winner is. You put some URL there that would identify who the winner of the basketball game is. Then the smart contract would check that URL. And then if it finds out you won, it would take the funds that were held up in that smart contract and send it to you. So that's how these data oracles work. And obviously you can get more complex than that. Self-sovereign ID. So within the NEO network, you would get a NEO identity, and then you could just provide the amount of information that you want. So for example, you are at a bar, you are providing your ID, and they just need to know you're over 21. They don't need to know your address, your birthday, your full name. They just need to know if you're over 21. Those are just examples, but self-sovereign ID does open up a lot of opportunities for the real world and blockchain. Domain name service. So with Neo, you can get these .neo domains. They are NFTs and they can replace your address. So if you have a Neo address, it is a long string of characters. You can replace that with a .neo address. So it could be dan.neo, dan subscriber.neo. You should probably subscribe if you're not a subscriber because then you would be a liar. <laughs> so uh, the .neo domain service just helps you interact with other contracts by using a simplified, easy to read domain. Advanced interoperability. So NEO is a founding member of the Poly network and NEO makes cross-chain interaction as easy as a native transaction. So with uh, NEO, you should be able to be interoperable with other smart contract networks. One block finality. In 15 seconds, that block is processed, it is final, and it's one block. <laughs> All right, next one. Neo uses a dual token model. As I mentioned earlier, it's Neo, that's the Neo token, and gas, the gas token. So they use the example here. You wanted to use Starbucks shares to buy a cup of coffee, so why spend your share of the blockchain on transaction fees? Which makes perfect sense because Ethereum, for example, the cost of an Ethereum transaction in ETH has been consistently the same. But as the price of ETH continues to climb, the gas prices continue to climb, which is painful, which, which is a huge drawback to Ethereum. Having this two token model does make a lot more sense because there is more control over the gas prices to fund your transactions. Since NEO has just upgraded to the N3 version of their blockchain, not all exchanges support N3 withdrawals. They use the NEO legacy blockchain, which is older, and it's something you can't really use because you want to get on that NEO N3 blockchain, the new version, so you get those gas rewards. So look out for that if you are going to buy NEO, and you're going to want to withdraw your NEO to a wallet on the N3 blockchain. For myself, I use the Neo Line wallet. It is a Chrome extension and is very similar to how you would use MetaMask. So I am logged in. I have 23 Neo in my accounts. You can see my gas there. And I am going to copy my address here and I'm going to bring it into governance.neo.org and I'm going to connect my Neo Line wallet. And you can see here that I have 0.889 gas in my account, 23 NEO, and 0.038 in unclaimed gas. Just for my NEO sitting in my wallet, I am earning gas. And if I wanted to claim those gas tokens, obviously there is going to be a gas fee to do that. So you have to make sure it's worth it. And to get that unclaimed gas, the easiest thing you can do is make a transaction on the NEO blockchain and your gas will get processed to your account. One way to do that would be sending one NEO to yourself. That would interact with the blockchain and get you that unclaimed gas. 
Additionally, you're gonna wanna vote. You need to vote on Neo to get full value because if you vote on Neo, you get those governance rewards which are significantly higher than not voting. You just need to participate in the vote to get those additional rewards. If you don't want to vote, there is something that can help you out with that. That's Neo Burger. I also use that. Gonna connect my Neo Line wallet. And you can see the 23 Neo in my account is available to exchange to B Neo, Burger Neo, but I already have 23 B Neo in my account. And with that 23 Burger Neo, I am earning gas rewards through their own system. They just do the voting for me, so you do have options. You could vote manually, or you could use Neo Burger to do the voting for you to get that full value. Neo's goal is to make the most convenient and accessible blockchain for developers. They are really just targeting developers and not the mass audience of blockchain users because developers bring in those users. So if you have a platform that has everything that makes it very easy to build on and has all these resources, then developers can build something that brings in those users. So you might say that Neo is a mishmash mix up of uh, all these different tools, but having all those tools on one platform makes it really convenient. It's kind of like a buffet. The buffet has everything you want and <laughs> I guess need, well, I mean, it's a want. And the other choice to that is going to a bunch of different restaurants to get the different pieces for the meal you want. So if you are a developer and want to build on the Neo blockchain, they do have a lot of resources and incentives. You might want to look that up. And with that, I hope you learned a lot and got your full value for today. <laughs>